just raced home from work. Uh, been waiting for a day like this for a long time now. I can finally grab my dive gear. I'm gonna have to put this down. This is gonna take two hands. All right, I can finally grab my dive gear. Got all my gear here, I'll have to go through it. We have got no wind, the Savo, so good. And clean water, no swell. It's finally time to go find some crayfish. It's what I love doing summer afternoons. And I've got about an hour and a half of sunlight tonight to do it. So I'm gonna get out there, get me some crayfish, get me something tasty for dinner. Right, coming down the stairs. The swell's still a little bit big, but should be all right. I'll give it a shot anyway. So, I want interesting to see if the crates are around at the moment or if they're still hiding, molting their shells. So, we'll give it a shot, see how we go. few down there, we'll uh, <laughs> see if I can get a few more. I don't have much light left, so I'm just trying to make the most of this. Let's get into them. Dirty. Sun's going down, it's getting a bit hard to see. Not that it was really easy to see anyway. We've got two. Set back in now. We've got dinner at least. A couple of little crayfish. That one's a white. That one's a red. He's just about ready to mold his shell. See, he's got oh, yeah, the sun. his old shell is coming away. He's ready to have his new shell, and this one's already got his new shell using the white color. Dinner. Back in the car now. We spent hour, hour and a, just over an hour in the water. Yeah. Yeah, just over an hour in the water. Got two crayfish. Um, water was really dirty real surgy but seen a lot of craze they're hiding real deep under the ledges they always do that when it's nice and surgy um, good signs though hopefully the weather clears up for this weekend and I can do a proper big 
adventure and explore, not just for a little bit after work. But we'll go cook these guys up. It's gonna be tasty. Can't wait. All right, crayfish time. And they're in there somewhere. There. Under everything, of course. Okay, we've got to take these around the back. Give them a rinse in a bucket. A crayfish. Put them in a bucket of fresh water. Puts them to sleep. Or you can put them in the freezer and they it puts them to sleep that way as well. Either or other. I think the freezer is probably the better way, but I'll do it this way today. Alright, while waiting on the craze, snap lock bag, shaker bag, best way to go. Bit of curry powder, bit of garlic salt, bit of normal flour, and don't know what's in this jar. I've had this for years. I've got to go to an Indian grocer and find out what it is, but it is the best seasoning. If you could smell that, it smells amazing. It's some sort of curry powdery seasoning thing. I'm nearly out. I've had this jar for years and it is amazing. So, chuck a bit of all of that. I don't even know how much, just whatever you sort of feels right. Chuck it in the bag, shake it around, and you have a bit of a concoction. All right, there we go. Got everything in our bag there. Seal it up. Give it a bit of a shake, mix it around. Boom. Done. Fish, crayfish, seasoning. So, sweet. Let's go get our craze. Grab the craze. They're all good to go now. So, I just want to get the meat out of the tails. Pretty easy. Two tails. Alright, got our cray tails out now. So, just chop them up into little pieces, ready to put the coating mix on. Just little cubes. There's Steve lurking over there. He loves his fresh fish and crayfish. He's gonna have to wait though. He's gonna wait till we've had our dinner. Don't you? Yeah, little sook. Pretty easy. Chuck it in the bag. We're already having fish for dinner, so I've got some. Got some pieces of pink snapper. We're already gonna have fish. Crayfish is just an extra, so that all goes in the bag. Big bag full of goodies. Seal it up. Give it a good shake. Curry seasoned crayfish and pink snapper. Done. Now we're gonna do is fry it. Easy as. Steve's lurking. You want some fish? Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> Off he goes with a bit of fish. Bit of oil. Good. The longer you leave this, the more of the powder and the thicker the coating gets, all the moisture gets absorbed by the flour and it sticks to it really good. But yeah, that's looking really good. Chuck our fish pieces, straighten the oil. Good to go.
just give them a couple of minutes each side just until they're nice and brown cook through doesn't need too long at all getting keen Right, check that out. Put on the paper towel to dry it out. Spray's done. Some of this fish is done. Bit of broccolini. Got out your greens. Well, uh, crayfish and pink snapper in curry. The chips. Yeah, they're made on the plate. Sweet. See, so, yeah, we've got our green stuff. We've got some chips. We got a plate full. Look how good this is. Oh, crayfish. And pink snapper. Coated in curry powder. So good. I'm eating this bit. So good. Oh. That's awesome. All right. That's my dinner. Chelsea and I are gonna sit down and have this now. So, I believe he's with it. I can't wait to eat this. It's gonna be so good. Catch us later.